There's a new platonic royal couple who are winning over the hearts of royal fans, as the friendship between Kate, Princess of Wales and Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh goes from strength to strength. At recent events such as the Order of the Garter and Royal Ascot the royal women were not just there to stand by the sides of their respective husbands, Prince William and Prince Edward, but looked genuinely affectionate with each other as they shared jokes and even held hands in a sweet moment while watching the horse racing. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. Thanks to King Charles' slimmed-down monarchy the Waleses and the Edinburghs have taken on the lion's share of royal engagements and have been dubbed the new Fab Four by commentators, but this charming bond between Kate and Sophie should encourage the firm to put them together for more official purposes. Despite the age gap between them, Kate is 41 and Sophie is 58, the two women share a lot in common coming from relatively normal middle-class backgrounds before marrying into the royal family. Both had careers in their own right before giving them up to become full-time working royals, and have worked hard to carve out their own distinct roles in the firm. Kate and Sophie have emerged as being much more than devoted wives and mothers and are passionate supporters of their respective causes. Their charity work could be a perfect opportunity for them to work more closely together, as while they take care of their own charities there is some overlap in their interests surrounding supporting children and families. In teaming up, Kate and Sophie would surely become a formidable force for good, especially at a time of turbulence for the royal family. According to polling carried out by YouGov earlier in June the royal family currently has a net positivity rating of 25%, a drop from 44% since King Charles ascended the throne, although when it came to individual ratings Kate came out on top of all the living members of the firm, with a net positivity of 59%. The ongoing feud with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle across the Atlantic has also impacted their standing, as yet another biography by Omid Scobie is on the way, which promises to contain insider juicy details. Firm terrified Meghan will unleash chaos with new project, latest, ex-King of Belgium Albert II rushed to hospital as palace issues update. Updates, Harry and Meghan need to follow Fergie's example, be quiet and work hard, comment, with this being the case, showcasing the hard-working royal women will surely receive a welcome boost from the public, especially given their popularity at this year's Order of the Garter service. Many royal fans on Twitter were calling out for faithful Kate and Sophie to finally be welcomed into the order themselves as an acknowledgement for their dedication to royal service over the years. As a team they would be unstoppable in their charitable efforts, forcing the country to sit up and take notice of the royal family's power to do good in the world. Their charm and natural demeanor allows them to engage with people from all different walks of life with the fact neither were born royal making them easier for some to relate to. Kate and Sophie have both cultivated strong relationships with other senior royals, as Sophie was known to be very close to the late Queen Elizabeth and Kate has formed a closer bond with Queen Camilla as their roles have become more aligned with each other. The Duchess even recently teamed up with Kate's husband William for a screening of the film Rhino Man, a documentary about the tragic murder of wildlife ranger Anton Mzemba. With these credentials under their belts, it makes perfect sense for Kate and Sophie to become the firm's next big power couple, 